we have one of our scribble friendship poses. Let me display some of the workflow we've discussed so far. Here we have Ernie and Elmo play with blocks. If I select Elmo, you can see that his entire body is grouped. If I select Ernie, you can see that his entire body is grouped with the prop. If I go inside that group, you can see that his arm and prop are grouped together in a subgroup. This allows me to move his arm wherever I like. It brings the prop along with it. It makes it easier for us to pose the characters this way. But if I wanted to remove the prop, I could easily go inside that group and remove the prop. This way, I can add a variety of props, or poses for that matter. For instance, we could have Elmo holding an apple, Ernie holding an umbrella, or Ernie wearing a funny hat. But for now, let's go back inside our group and have Ernie holding the block. You can see that if I go inside the group, there are many subgroups. We organize it so that the head, torso, legs, and arms are all grouped separately. This example gives you some idea of the poses available to us. So let's say you want to create the scribble look. To do so, you'd want to create a scribble brush. So let's go through that process now. The first thing you want to do is go to your brush. Double click on it and you'll see that your paint brush tool options come up. You're going to want to change the fidelity. The fidelity is how closely your brush follows your stroke. So a smaller number will result in a tighter fit and a larger number will be looser. We want this to follow the brush pretty closely. So we're going to make it three pixels. Under smoothness, we're going to keep it at 0%. Now we could increase it, which makes our brush stroke smoother. But we want this to be really accurate. So we're going to keep it at 0%. Under options, you want to keep unchecked, fill new brush strokes and keep selected. And you're going to keep checked, edit selected paths. Keep this at 12 pixels, which should be your preset, and go ahead and hit OK. The next thing you want to do is go to Window and bring up your Brushes window. You'll see you have your preset brushes, but for this instance, we're going to create a new brush. Under New Brush Type, you're going to want to select Calligraphy Brush. Go ahead and hit OK. This will bring up your Calligraphy Brush options. The first thing you want to do is create a name. You want to make it something that's easy to remember so you can use it for future illustrations. This way all your artwork can be consistent. So for this case, we're going to call it Scribble Brush. You're going to keep your angle at zero degrees and fixed. You're going to keep your roundness at 100% and fixed. Because this will keep the brush very round. If I alter these, the brush would start to become flat and have a harder edge, much like a calligraphy brush does. But that's not what we want for this look, so keep it at these settings. Under the diameter, you're going to bring it a little bit smaller of a point down to three points. And for this one, we're going to change fixed to pressure. You will need a Wacom tablet for this because we're going to use the pen tool for pressure. You can see when I put pressure on, the variation here becomes ungrayed out. This will allow me to adjust my line weight through pressure on the tablet. You can see now that the brush is consistent throughout, but we want some variation. So I'm going to move it up one, two, three points, and you can see now that I'll have a little bit different brush stroke as I apply more pressure. Once I've done all this, go ahead and hit OK. And you'll see in your brushes palette, you now have a scribble brush. So let's play, what I was talk play with what I was talking about before. If I start creating a scribble and apply more pressure, you'll see that my stroke becomes thicker. So let's just zoom in on that. 
I lightly start applying the brush. As I apply more pressure, it becomes thicker. As I am lighter on the brush, it becomes thinner. You can start it out thicker by applying more pressure and making it soft curl at the end. That look is great for grass, hair, or of course in this case fur. By playing with the pressure you can achieve different looks. So here I'm just doing a curly cue. I'm doing the same thing but I'm applying the pressure differently. This will give us a different look. So let's see if we can create a character with this new scribble brush. In our pose, you can see that we have Ernie and Elmo, but there's no sign of Ernie's best pal, Rubber Ducky. So let's create Rubber Ducky. The first thing I want to do is go to Window and open up my Swatches palette. I've already set in here Rubber Ducky's set Pantone colors. We have set Pantones for all of our characters. This keeps it consistent and familiar. So I'm going to go ahead and create Rubber Ducky by first selecting Pantone 116. You want to play with the scribble brush a little. There's a variety of different scribbles you can use. And if I go to outline mode, you'll see that the brush is a stroke. But for our artwork, we have a filled compound path. To fix this, we use the blob brush tool, which is found directly under your brush tool, or Shift B. You'll see now I have a little circle under my brush. Just make sure that when you select the blob brush tool, you still have your preset scribble brush. So now I can create those same looks, but when I go to outline mode, it's a filled compound path. So once you got this look down, you can start creating your rubber ducky. Let's start off with this head. So I have my blob brush tool, I have my scribble brush selected, and I have my Pantone set on the stroke. You want to define the outline of the character. I'm starting with his head. And you want to create a structure, but make sure it's playful. You can add personality with thick and thin lines. You don't want a lot of white space. So I'll go to outline mode and I can see that this is kind of insignificant. But since I have the same stroke and fill color with the blob brush tool, I can just paint over it and it becomes part of the shape. This will only happen if you have the same stroke and fill color. We don't want it to be too noisy, so as I said, make sure there isn't a lot of white space. A lot of overlapping is good for this look. Let's just do the little blob of feathers at the top. Once you've done a rough idea of what you want your rubber ducky to look like, you can start with the bill. So the bill color is Pantone 32. And the nice thing about the scribble look is you can achieve a lot with just a few strokes. So that will be the inside of his mouth. And now I'm going to do the beak. And we're going to create his bill with just a few strokes. It's very minimal, but of course it does take some tweaking.
When I grab the blob brush tool shape that I created, you can see that it's no longer a stroke. So right here you can see that now it's in the fill, not the stroke. However, when you do use the blob brush tool, you always want to make sure you have your stroke selected before it becomes a fill. Let's do the eyeballs. As I was saying before, simple basic shapes are always very important. I've just duplicated that. I'm keeping the eyeball right on top of the bill so it looks like he's nice and smiling. And now if I want to create the pupils, I can use the blob brush tool again. We usually have a perfect circle or oval for our pupils of our characters, but because this is scribble, we can keep it nice and loose. So I'm just going to select black for my stroke and make sure I have the blob brush tool. And very easily I can just create a pupil. The blob brush tool is great because it's very much like using an actual paintbrush. It's really natural. It flows really, really nicely. And much like sketching, I can select this and I can actually erase out of it. Just like if you were doing a sketch. And it's still the same shape. It's a lot of fun once you've played with it for a little while. Now let's say that's a little too round. I can just go in here. And you can see it's a very nice highlight with a point, but it's not exact. So you can see this takes a little tweaking. But once you've played with your paintbrush tool, your scribble brush, your blob brush tool, you'll be able to come up with a rubber ducky that looks a lot like this. And here we have our fun scribble friendship pose with now rubber ducky here.